I don't know. It'll be, it'll oh, be. man. I didn't know you were back on the Star Treks. Yeah, I've almost finished it now. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. We haven't done a What's New in Star Trek episode for months. Uh, we can do a bit of talking about Star Trek. Honestly, I'd say most of the episodes I've watched have been pretty fucking solid. Are you in, like, the sort of golden it's, zone of, like, season five it's, No, it's end of season six, season seven. Mm -hmm. There haven't been that many that have, like, been like, oh, shit, that's a fucking amazing episode. Mm. Um, but it's just like, yeah, it's a nice enough idea. There's nothing too much too fucking silly going on. Um, God, that was a really fucking serious one. Uh, where I was like, oh, fuck, it's a fucking Loxana Troy episode. Ugh. Um, but then the whole thing was like, she went into a psychic coma because she was blocking out um, how her kid died. And actually, Deanna Troy had a sister, and Deanna Troy's sister drowned as a kid, and her mum had been repressing it. I was like, this isn't nor normally. She's like, she's like, oh, flirting. naked wedding. <laughs> yeah, and like flirting and um, even what's his name, Mister Mister Big Big Pale Man. Oh yeah, even he wasn't there, and he always oh, had some bit of bit of fun. Yikes! And so it was just like, expect. okay, this was just a real, uh, just a real downer episode. Ooh. That wasn't even like a funny B plot going on with like. Data and his cat having an adventure. Like, it well, was that just... would have been a bit of a weird tonal <laughs> shift. <laughs> I think it just needed something. It was just a really, really serious episode. It was like, oh, yikes! And if you're watching it weekly, yeah, oh, you watch that one. You're like, oh fuck, God. I guess like it can't all be fucking space adventures. Um, Maybe it should be. Uh, I did see an amazing clip. God, I, I think I can find it for you. Okay. Um, someone's going to have to remind me the name of the episode. It's like re Rebirth or something like that. What it's happens a, in it? It's a two-part episode. Mm -hmm. uh, Birthright is the one. Oh, okay. Um, oh, that rings a bell. Which episode is that? It's... Uh, NG Birthright. So, sadly, it won't have the audio, but I found the clip just on YouTube. Uh, whatever. Uh, uh, TNG Birthright. Part two remaster, I think there was like a there was a comparison. I think this is it. Right, so there's a bit where so Worf has gone to a planet. Mm -hmm. He's been told his dad, his dad is alive. Okay. Um, by this like the shadiest fucking dude in the world. Mm -hmm. And he goes there and it turns out his dad. But he was like, no, my father, he died. He died a hero. He died he, with honor. He would not have been captured, because if he's captured... He's a coward. Even, what's like fucking mini wolf called? Oh, yeah, Alexander. Ale even Alexander's children would be humiliated. <laughs> so he goes and like has a look into this. Okay. And he finds, turns out these guys were captured. Mm -hmm. but whatever, the Romulans with, that were capturing them. Mm -hmm. They were trying to ransom them off, but it turned out no fucking Klingons wanted to spend money to get back people that oh, had yeah. surrendered. Buy back cowards? Yeah. Yuck. Ugh, gross. <laughs> right. Um, and so they made some deal and they made this like little, this new society mm -hmm. and the, some of the Romulans stayed there with them and um, they were friends. Oh, wow. And they're hanging out. Uh, but there's this scene mm. where... <laughs> Should we turn the volume off? Or do um, leave it on? Sadly, I, I think it's just like some random music playing. Oh, okay. Um, there's this scene... What? I don't know, T. Okay. Oh. Uh, there's a scene where um, just Worf sees the kids playing fucking Romulan games. And, like, I was just sat watching watching this. Mm -hmm. You know, normally when you're sat by yourself, stuff isn't all that funny. Yeah, of course. But this, honestly, it made me just burst out laughing. Oh, my God. I'm building it up way too much because it's just of the course. dumbest thing in the world. But <laughs> yeah. this is the game that the fucking Romulans play. Okay, Romulan schoolyard games. Let's see. Uh... So, um, they've had like hundreds of thousands of years to develop a game. They roll a hoop into and they... a thing. Yeah! Yeah! I hit <laughs> both the sticks! That, Suck it! Does that, <laughs> that fucking game? Because it literally looks like. <laughs> how do you not get both the sticks almost every time? It's just like, how can you lose this? <laughs> yeah. I feel like just a set designer was just told, okay, the, they need to be playing a game out here. Yeah. Come up with something, you have two seconds. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, fucking just... 
roll the hoop into the stick. How can you lose? And just like how pleased he is, but then how mad Worf is. Um, I'm so ashamed. Just... <laughs> it just looked like the dumbest game that all the fucking kids love, and they're they're hugging each well, other. Well, everyone's a winner in fucking hoopstick. <laughs> um, so yeah, just that that fucking scene. I think that was the uh, only really notable moment. Um, <laughs> it was fucking great. Uh, I love swords, it. No, they're they're hunting javelins because there's a game that the the Klingons play where they fucking. They roll the hoop, and then you have to throw the sticks through. And they do a bit of that, and even that game looks fucking garbage as well. <laughs> yeah, unless that hoop is rolling real fast. It sounds uh, pretty easy. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, uh, do you think Wolf was crossed because he's never managed to knock over the sticks? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if, that's, too hard. if that's the case. <laughs> my God. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know. I, we, can, we can do a little click through click through just some of the episodes so I might remember yeah I'd like, like to just like skim over the highlights super super funny ones um, or if there's any episodes that you particularly really remember um, you're good well your boy is going to I guess you, you've done the Borg episode now then that was one that you were just getting to last time we talked about it yeah because I so I had stopped because I kept watching a bit of an episode mm. and then being like oh I fucking hate this and then I didn't watch it for a couple of weeks and then I came back and I was like okay right I watch that episode and this time I decided just to skip it because mm. um, it was the um, it's fucking Barkley is Moriarty it's a oh is it a Sherlock Holmes it's holodeck? a Sherlock Holmes holodeck but it was just an <laughs> exceptionally slow one that I just why why is there more than one Sherlock Holmes holodeck episode yeah. Like, there are too many. <laughs> yeah, isn't that weird that Way. you have to specify which one you're talking about? Uh, yeah, it's just bonkers. Uh, um, have you seen the one where Barkley becomes a super genius? Yeah. Yeah, there's been a couple of Barkley episodes. Um, and, um, like, I think the first one that he was in, I quite liked. Um, but after that, like, yeah, they, weren't, they weren't, like, standout episodes, really. The only one I really remember is... Wow, great. just on a side note, the Nurgle guys are really fucking cool <laughs> in this. They're like, yes, Scarabrand. Yes, that, that defended position on the hill. We'll all charge it together. It's We're right like, behind you. Charge, man, kill! <laughs> and um, they mm. have kind of fucked him a little bit. Uh, sorry. That's all right. Just uh, yeah, the only one I clearly remember is where he, he becomes like a super brain and it's kind of like a flowers for Algernon okay. situation. Do you remember that one? He has, to, he has to give up his big brain. Uh, oh, and it has that real cheesy ending where like he slowly gets more, like throughout the episode he gets more and more clever and as he gets cleverer he gets more confident and everyone's like, wow, Barkley, you're a badass. Yeah. And then at the end he becomes so big brain that um, he's going to destroy the universe. So they they put him back to normal, and then he's just sat in ten forward at the end, going, "No, oh, it's a shame. I quite like being smart. I like being the smart man." And then um, someone's like, "Oh, what's this? Is a weird hard equation." And Buckley's just like, "The answer is five thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven. Boom. Ah! He still got it. <laughs> or has he? It's such a cheesy little um, yeah little thing at the end. I don't know. Ease. Such a cheesy tease." Made me smile. Um, I do remember that. I do remember that episode. Oh, fuck. Everyone is frenzied. Oh, that's right, Pastor Boss. It was a chess move. That's right. Yeah, he looks over at a chessboard and is like, mate in four or something. But I love the idea that he's... Um, that's just not right, the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like... He just guesses. Oh, yeah, I reckon that's it. And everyone's just like... What do they call him? Broccoli. Commander Broccoli or something. Have you done the There Are Four Lights? Or Three Lights? Yeah. Yeah, I've done had that episode. It was alright. I like um, uh, Captain Robocop takes over the Enterprise while Picard's away on that one. Do you know the he's like the CEO of OCP? Yeah. And um, Boy. he is sick of all the slack Picard cuts everyone. Oh yeah, and is very fucking serious. Yeah, I enjoyed that. He's just like, why don't you guys do some fucking work for a change? Hey, hey. <laughs> what a prick. 
And then, like, Deanna Troy, wear a fucking uniform. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember him, like, calling her out on that. That was kind of funny. I guess Wesley Crusher's gone off with the weird guy for the rest of time and space. Uh, has he? No, I think he's in... Um, is he still at Starfleet Academy? Yeah, I think he's still at the Academy. Okay, here's a weird exit from the show. I think? I think you'd remember if he's gone or not. Oh god, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't, wasn't paying attention. What did you think about Best of Both Worlds? That was such a big deal at the time that it came out. Which one's Best of Both Worlds? Where Picard is um, taken by the Borg. Uh, um, Riker has to captain the Enterprise. It was like an end of season. Is that the one where he's captured? Yeah. And then he becomes a Borg? Yeah, Picard's turned into a Borg, and part one, which is the end of the season, ends with Riker ordering the ship to open fire on Picard. Yeah. And it's like, dun, dun, dun! Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we covered this before when we were um, doing it last time. Um, uh, seeing as I knew that there was a TV show called Picard and I still had like four more seasons to go, I was like, pretty sure he's going to be all right. Sure it's all going to be fine. So it was not a big, um, yeah, at no, no point did I ever think uh, he was he was dead. Um, I was just like, so he's going to be Borg and then not Borg. Um, Okay, they'll do it. They'll do a Star Trek. Yeah, get them out of there. They'll invert the polarity. Uh, yeah, just there will be a reason why he is fine. 